Every day there are hundreds of animals in each of Los Angeles' six shelters, hoping to find a loving home. Some come in looking unrecognizable, but the Pet Makeover team will transform these wild animals into beautiful, more adoptable pets. Don't give up until you look me in the eyes and I say don't give up on me. Today, we are at the East Valley Shelter in Van Nuys, California. For over 15 years, it has been the goal of the Pet Care Foundation and Pets 90210 to find homes for as many of Los Angeles' shelter animals as possible. Yeah, what are the doggies doing here? It always makes me Awesome. You want to come with me? I'm going to make you pretty. So that way you can find a home, okay? Yeah. My name is Fabi, otherwise known as Fabiola. Uh, I have three cats at home. Paris, Blanket, MJ fans. Um, and I have Waffle, which is a whole other ballgame. I've been grooming for a year and a half because I'm an animal lover. I mean, you have to be an animal lover to be doing this. This one's going to be on TV tomorrow. There is a Let's big go. Dog howling, howling at the moon. It's really important to get all these mats out before you put them in the bath. So otherwise, they get tighter and tighter and tighter and fill out through the skin. No, it's cold. And it hurts. But this doesn't hurt. This doesn't hurt. You're going to look fabulous. <laughs> and so lovey's. Look at how lovey you are. You don't belong here. We're gonna find your home. Make you look pretty. Oh, I know. I love your beard. <laughs> gotta come off, baby. You got so many tangles in there. I know. I know. All our dogs from the last time got adopted, except for one. I got taken to a rescue. Keep his ears, because they're so darn cute. Hold on, we gotta get the backside. I know, it's not the favorite. My name is Jan Selder and I am the Director of Field Operations for the City of Los Angeles Department of Animal Services. And I do have several pets at home. It's an occupational hazard from working at the animal shelter. I have uh, adopted many pets throughout the years. I currently have three dogs. I have Copper, who's a Pitbull Vizsla mix. I have Jasmine, who's a Great Dane. And I have Lottie, who's a Sholoit Squinkly. Um, Copper and Jasmine are eight years old. Lottie's 13. I got them from the animal shelter. One from North Central, one from East Valley, two from East Valley. I also have two cats that I adopted from the shelter. Izzy, who's all black, um, one of the hardest colors of cat to adopt is a black cat, so that's why I chose him. Plus, he was adorable. And then I have Mandy, who was a kitten, and I fostered her, and I failed and kept her. Foster failure. And I also have a uh, koi fish pond, and believe it or not, the animal shelter sometimes gets fish, so I have sort of a menagerie of different fish. Fluffy and clean. <laughs> come on up. Okay, baby, come on up. Stop sweetie. Okay. Stay still, sweetie. Just for this. No. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. 
Get your bangs, we gotta get them even. There you go, good boy. Good boy, you stay still. Now I gotta do the side. If you're looking to adopt or even maybe find your lost pet, which is important, you can go to our website and look at the photos of all the animals at all the shelters that we have available. A lot of times if you click on the photo, you'll see a video of the animal in its environment. It kind of gives you an idea of maybe their activity level. And this is where, again, grooming is so important because we can't put a dog, you know, take a picture of a dog or a video of a dog that's matted and itchy and not very comfortable. We want our dogs to look happy and healthy. So the grooming that's being provided by the Pet Care Foundation, it's essential in getting these animals adopted. This one's down here. He's ready to go and look for a home. He's all dressed up and ready for you. Now let's go on over to Whit Johnson with our pet of the week. Oh, Lucy, we've got a good one here. Our pet of the week is Winston. He's looking for a playmate here. Victoria Harrison from LA Animal Services is uh, here to tell us about Winston. First of all, best ears I've seen in a long time. The most adorable ears ever. That's and part of the reason why I picked him. And by the way. Yeah, he's an dude. amazing little dog. He's actually very sweet. His name is Winston. He's a two-year-old uh, Yorkie mix. Uh, looking for a home available today at the East Valley Animal Shelter at 2 p.m. Active little guy, so if you have an active family, this would be the perfect guy for you. So, so how does he get along with other dogs? Uh, what about cats? Great children? with other dogs. He has two other little cage mates that are uh, just as friendly as him. They're not Yorkie mixes, but they are Terrier mixes, and they need homes as well. But he is a great little companion. And, and forgive me, his backstory again? His owner got into trouble with the law, and so he had to stay with us for a little while. And unfortunately, he was unable to be redeemed, so he's okay. now available for adoption to the public. Well, well I mean, it, the good news for a few owner is I mean he's he's trained right and yeah, he's, he's very well uh, very well um, behaved I don't know if he's potty trained but he does uh, uh, really good with other dogs people social walks well on a leash gets groomed he just got groomed yesterday he looks gorgeous and he loved he does it look gorgeous don't you again Winston is available at the East Valley Shelter in Van Nuys here he is right there for a link to LA Animal Services again you can go to NBCLA.com I mean this guy Lucy I mean, come on, with the bow tie and the ears on this one? Oh, he's the cutest little guy ever, so hopefully somebody will wrap their arms around him and make him a forever home. Hi, buddy, you ready? Yes, let's go. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll be saying thank you. <laughs> My name is Bill Crow, and I'm the director of the Pet Care Foundation. It's also known as Pets 90210. And I have five cats and two dogs. The Pet Care Foundation was founded uh, by Paula Kent Meehan. It was her dream to save animals, uh, particularly in the city of Beverly Hills, because there was nothing going on in Beverly Hills as far as animals go. She started it about 10 years ago uh, because she wanted to help shelter animals, uh, specifically with adoption, finding homes. We formed an alliance with the West LA Shelter, which is very close to Beverly Hills, and we created these adoption programs that we do. We do 11 adoption events every year. What we do is we promote the adoption of them and uh, help them find homes directly from the city shelter. We work with all six of the LA city shelters. Um, there are six placed throughout the city of LA and at our adoption events they, they concur simultaneously. So we decorate all six shelters, we reduce the adoption fee, um, we send volunteers and they put out candy and cookies and things like that and give little giveaways like dog toys and collars and beds and things like that so that there's a little incentive to adopt. It's grown from of finding homes from about 150 dogs one year to last year we found over 2,000 dogs and cats homes. Anywhere from 100 to 300 animals get adopted in one weekend, uh, which is about triple what they do on an average weekend. So it's, it's been very successful.
name is Jan Salder and I am the Director of Field Operations for the City of Los Angeles Department of Animal Services. The Department of Animal Services has a lot of great programs and one of them that I think that most people don't even know that we have is called our Foster Program. And what the Foster Program is, is if you come into the shelter, you're thinking about adopting, maybe you're not sure yet, and if you see an animal that you really like, eh, you're still thinking, well, I don't know, do I really want to adopt this? Or maybe you don't have a lot of time, but you still want to somehow get involved with the animal, you can foster, just like for children, you can foster a dog. You can take that dog home, keep it in your house. You're almost like a mini shelter. You know, you socialize it, you get it out there, take it on walks, you take it to the park, um, maybe even find a new home for it, you know, get people interested. Or if you decide that, wow, this dog is working out perfect for me, or yes, I can definitely handle the responsibility of owning a pet, then you can also adopt the dog. And the dog's already been spayed or neutered. It has a microchip already. It's really pretty much ready to go. And we also always need foster parents for our baby kittens and our baby puppies. Anything under eight weeks by law cannot be adopted out. And we get litters of puppies and kittens in that are just babies. We don't have a mom to take care of them. So what we're doing now is we're asking foster parents to come in, take them, keep them up until they're eight weeks old, and provide what they need, all their care and socialization and litter training. And then when they're eight weeks old, they can bring them back into the shelter and we'll put them up for adoption. Or again, if you found homes for them already, we'll make sure that those puppies and kittens get adopted to your friends or your family or the new homes that you found from. It's a great way to help us with our euthanasia goals and for us to have animals that are healthy, happy, and raised in a home instead of in a shelter. Hi, my name is Andy Reyes, and I'm a dog groomer, uh, a Yorkie Terrier. So when you uh, have a pet with long hair, I think uh, most importantly, dog owners, between grooming or baths, it's very important that you brush your dog's hair out just to maintain a nice coat and main, uh, keep it from matting up. Mats could be uh, a bad thing. They tend to tighten up once they're wet. It's amazing to see the transformation a dog goes through when it comes in and it's all matted and dirty. And you can just see that they feel bad, uh, not only uh, because their skin or their fur is matted and it hurts, but they just feel bad about themselves. And then they get a bath, they get cleaned up, their personality changes, it's amazing. And they all of a sudden become this dog that nobody wanted to this dog that gets adopted within the next day or two. It's, it's amazing. Right now, the only sponsor of the grooming program is JP Pet Products. Uh, John Paul Mitchell, who has human uh, grooming products and has for many, many years, when he heard that we were doing this, he started donating all the shampoos and the conditioners and, and uh, very grateful to him for that because those are they're excellent products.
lot of benefits to adopting an older dog. I'm not sure everyone thinks about that when they think about adopting. They probably think, oh, a puppy, I want a puppy. I want to start fresh with a puppy. Puppies are a lot of work. A lot of our older dogs, and we have dogs that range from a year all the way up to 15, 16 years old that have been turned in the shelter. They're ready to go. Almost all of them already have some in-home experience. They've been in someone's home. They already know they're house trained. They know to go outside. They know how to walk on a leash. A lot of them know basic commands sit, stay, come. Many of them are used to the things that happen in the house that for some dogs, like the vacuum cleaner, might scare them. These dogs have heard that. They have that kind of, I've been there, I've done that attitude. All they want you to do is love me. That's, that's kind of where they're at. Maybe you're just not as active or you work a lot. An older pet makes an excellent choice. Why should you go to the animal shelter instead of going to the pet store to get your pet? A lot of the animals that come into the shelter came originally from a pet store, from a breeder. We have such a large variety, every shape, every color, every size. We offer, with adoption, spay and neuter, microchip, a dog license for all dogs, and all their vaccinations for a very low cost adoption fee. So this has to be the place you look first. These animals, they're waiting and their time is limited and they need you to come in and take a look and give them a chance first. Probably about 75% of the animals that are in the shelter are owner surrenders. You know, people get a puppy and then they're busy, they don't pay attention to it, they don't train it, and it's, it's grown substantially and it's chewing up the furniture and peeing all over the place. And, they just turn it in. Um, it's a sad state of affairs. We try to educate people before they adopt and talk to them and say, you know, are you really ready for this? Because we want this to be a forever home. Say hi to the camera guy, buddy. Yeah. Joey, this is Joey I'm working on. The City of Los Angeles has a responsibility to its citizens to provide all means of animal care and control, which means any animal problem that's happening in the city, we oversee that. All adoptions are done through the LA City Animal Shelter. And we also partner with groups like the Pet Care Foundation and uh, all our rescue partners, which in the LAC is called the New Hope Program. So we partner with all our rescue groups to help get adoptions going. They come in and they do their own adoption events. They take animals from us. Um, we also have adoption events that are out in the field, like out at parks and in the malls. We have a huge adoption event coming up with No Kill Los Angeles. So we're excited about that. That's gonna be up, you know, over 100 dogs that we're gonna have out there for adoption. So these are the things where the partnerships really make a difference. It gets the animals out of the shelter, for those who just really can't come into the shelter, some people can't to come into this environment, it's sad. So this is a way to get the animals out of the environment, out into an area that's different, out into the public. Sometimes they show better. Um, it's great for people, plus the animals get out, get walked, and it's exciting for them. The LA Animal Services does have a website. It's laanimalservices.com. You can go to our website and pretty much find out anything you need to know about having pets in the city, the pets laws, codes, our volunteer program, our foster program, how to donate, and any other animal questions you may have. This is a living, breathing, feeling thing that you're bringing into your life. And if you love them, they're going to give it back to you a million times. They're very appreciative because they know where they've been and what they've gone through and then they really appreciate you giving them a second chance. Our website is www.pets90210.org and it's filled with all of our programs, our newsletter, a lot of dog and cat information, uh, training information. There are pictures, before and after pictures of the grooming. And it's not only a way to keep up with what we're doing and what our next event is, and you can also watch our TV show there. Um, it also is just filled with a lot of just general information. If you're looking for a place to live that accepts animals, we have a list of uh, websites to go to for real estate that accepts animals. We've managed to raise awareness about adoption and spay-neuter as well so people become very aware of what we're doing and, and the plight of uh, shelter pets.